I think today we have reached the point where not only can we dream about a better way of life, but we can make specific proposals. And that's where my own work comes in. I've been for 35 years concerned with behavior. A Pennsylvanian psychologist, Skinner was the most radical practitioner of behaviorism. He believed that each person starts out as a blank slate and is molded purely by their environment. He began his work not with humans, but with pigeons. He trained them using a system called operant conditioning. He could get them to display the behavior he desired by conditioning them to respond to rewards. They would peck on the little button and if they pecked the right number of times they would get a reward i.e some seed and so they soon learnt that they must peck six times and very fast and they get the seed and then they would do that again and again and he could train them to do all sorts of things i mean he trained pigeons to play ping pong no wonder then that skinner thought he could also train humans of any age to behave better in the early 70s, Skinner set up an experiment at a youth borstal, and the BBC followed his progress. Here, Skinner describes the inmates at the start of the project. Few of them have had families they have lived with closely. Almost all have dropped out of school with little or no education. Few have ever held a job for any length of time, and all have violated the law so often or so violently that it has been necessary to lock them up. In the Borstal, basic food and accommodation were provided. Skinner's masterstroke was to introduce a reward system. If the youngsters behaved well and attended lessons, they could earn points and improve their living conditions. Your room was dirty a couple of days. Dirty? Then you went out of the cottage and properly dressed. I would like to. Hey, see if you can't do a little better next week. All right? Yes, sir. I really try, sir. Okay, you travel hard. All right, I think so. Points could be exchanged for more delicious food at meal times, admission to game rooms, the rental of a private room or television set, or even a short vacation away from the school. The results were dramatic. Boys who had been convinced by the school system that they were unteachable discovered that they were not. They learned reading, writing, and arithmetic, and acquired manual skills. They did so without compulsion, and the hostile behavior characteristic of such institutions quickly disappeared. Skinner's successes were seen as momentous achievements. And his work lives on in every child's star chart and employee reward scheme around the world. Skinner believed he had found a catch-all explanation for every facet of human behavior. But when he turned his attention to language, he was to come very publicly unstuck. What's that there? What's that? <laughs> At this time, many scientists were asking where our remarkable ability for learning speech comes from. That's a kangaroo! <laughs> Skinner's answer was relatively straightforward. He said, language is acquired by a system of operant conditioning. That is to say, children come into the world, they cannot speak, they have no language, and they acquire it by imitation from their parents, and that is reinforced by a system of, of rewards and punishments, the kind of rewards that operate in daily life, and which parents give them without even knowing that they do so. This idea and it's a it's a persuasive idea was challenged linguists of the day thought this was too simplistic and that more subtle forces were at work in the early 70s the bbc's horizon program decided to settle the debate 
First, the old lady will talk. Skinner was asked to sit in on a language experiment designed to show that copying and rewards are not enough to make young children absorb complex grammar. Here, an older child is tested to see if she can copy what she has heard. So the dragon goes first. Lucy knows Linus, doesn't she? She knows Linus, doesn't she? But in another test, a younger child can't do it. You say whatever I say. Lucy is on the box. Lucy is on the box. Lucy's being on the box pleases me. Lucy's on the box pleases me. That Linus is lying down pleases me. That Lucy's is... That Linus is lying down pleases me. If... I'm getting everything mixed up. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good, Dragon. The little boy can fly an airplane. It appeared that small children could not copy everything they had heard, no matter how rewarding the experience. And now the old lady says... I am willing to admit that uh, I cannot account for all the verbal behavior of a child, but I don't feel it's accounted for either by uh, inventing some uh, fictional explanation. I'm not suggesting that you do. I don't think you do. But I think the best thing is simply to say that there are still areas in which we're quite ignorant. What Skinner seemed to have missed was that humans are not simply blank slates. Which is the girl? Each of us is born with 